morning, space time travelers. This morning, we have a fun lesson for you today. It's about the Ten Commandments. I hope you all all know what the Ten Commandments are, but if you all don't, we're going to learn about it together this morning. So let's, and after we do the reading, I have a fun thing I want to show you all after, after I finish reading. The Israelites were on their way to the land God had promised them. It was a long way. With God watching over them, the men, women, and children walked and walked and walked over the hot, dry land. That, if y'all had to walk over dry land, I bet y'all be awfully thirsty, wouldn't y'all? When they got tired and needed rest, they would set up tents and camp together under the stars. Now that would be pretty cool, to camp out under the stars like, like they did. While they were camping at the bottom of a mountain called Mount Sinai, something incredible happened. On the morning of the third day they were, that they were there, a cloud, dark cloud covered the mountain. Crash, boom, bang, lightning and thunder filled the sky. The people were afraid. I would too if I was them. Suddenly the voice of God called Moses. God asked Moses to climb to the top of the mountain. So Moses grabbed his walking stick and climbed up, up, and up. When, they got, when he got to the top of the mountain, God spoke. God said, Moses, listen up. I have important rules for you and the people to live by. You can turn to do... You can turn to this list to know how God, how the love of God and love each other. Do your best to follow this list. It won't be easy, but I am with you and I love you. Th then God gave Moses a list of ten special rules called commandments. And they were, number one, honor I am God, the only God. Honor me above all other things and people. Number two, there are no other gods for you, only me. Number three, my name is special. Do not use it with bad words or mean talk. Number four, take a day and rest each week. Call it the Sabbath and make it a special day for God. Number five, Show your mom, dad, and others who take care of you love and respect. Number six, don't hurt others with your words or actions. Number seven, if you get married, you must be loyal to your husband or wife. Number eight, don't take things that aren't yours. Number nine, Tell only the truth about your family, friends, and even those you do not know. And number 10, be happy with what you have. Don't wish for things that other people have. And with that, the dark cloud went away. Moses walked down, down, down the mountain. The people were scared, still, from the dark clouds and thunder. But Moses says, said, Don't be afraid. God has given us special rules to teach us how to live together in peace. Moses told the people about God's rules, and they did their best to follow them. Have you ever stopped to wonder how tall Mount Sinai was back then? I did a little research this past week about Mount Sinai and I looked it up and it is almost two miles high so if you stop to think about it when it says that Moses walked up and up and up that that's a long two miles that he had to walk up to, to the top to get the Ten Commandments from from God and I bet you would be scared too if you had heard a big thunder and clash and 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 bang, and you saw uh, dark clouds fill the sky. So, 
Here's the one thing that I wanted to show you that I brought with me this morning. I found this thing at a garage sale a, a few years back. It's about country commandments. It's practically the Ten Commandments, but it's country version. And it goes, there is only one God, no hankering for other stuff, no cussing, gather on Sunday, no killing, mind your ma and pa, cheating is forbidden, y'all don't steal, no white lies or gossiping, and no false gods. So now, with that being said, I would like to ask you to please go into your secret agent packet and pull out the lesson for week seven and enjoy the activities. Until next time. Hello, my time traveling friends. I am so glad that you guys are back for lesson seven. You are becoming real pros at time traveling and that is so cool. Think of all the amazing places you have already been, all the cool things you have already seen. And now you get to go back to when the 10 commandments were given to God's people. That is so cool. Think about it. The 10 commandments were written out on two huge big tablets of stone. Think about how heavy those are. And Moses had to hike up a mountain first to get them, and then he had to lug them all the way back. I don't know about you, but if I'm getting ready to do this time travel, I think I'm gonna put out some workout clothes because this is a lot of physical activity that you guys are gonna be doing. But I know you can handle it. So get ready, maybe some tennis shoes, good hiking clothes. You can pick out an excellent hiking stick because Moses had a good hiking stick. See, everybody needs one, right? Have you ever been outside and not wanted to have a stick in your hand? Because I, I always want to have a good stick. So you can pick out one of those as you're getting your materials ready. Another good thing to do would be to have some kind of Ten Commandments for you to hold on to. Uh, I've given you a list of all ten of the commandments so you can write them on whatever you want. Maybe you have some big whiteboards at your house. Maybe you can write them on a piece of paper and then stick them on leftover pizza boxes. Maybe the tops to plastic containers for storage. There's so many things. Whatever you think is right to hold the Ten Commandments, whatever you would put it on today, go ahead and put those Ten Commandments up so you have something amazing. But remember, they were on stone, so they should be heavy. Even if they're not really heavy, you got to remember, that's what Moses experienced. Are you ready for this workout of a Ten Commandments experience? Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give you your blessing and then you can head out to do the rest of your time travel steps. They will appear on the screen so you can make sure you know what they all are. And I hope you have an amazing journey. God, please bless your time travelers as they prepare to hike and to hold your word these amazing 10 rules that help us to be an awesome community of Christian people. Please give everyone so much excitement and joy as they travel into this amazing story and let all of your time travelers get to know you better, God. Amen. Have an awesome time and I will see you next week.